tonight. And we'll see if we can get things up and running. I'm just checking my channel here to make sure that we are streaming. Or actually not right now, but we'll get there one second. And actually we're, we are live right now. So we are going to be playing some Out of the Park 19 Baseball. And what I was going to do is I was going to have the 1978 Yankees take on the 1978 Red Sox in a rematch of the Bucky Dent game. But instead, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have the 78 Yankees play the 2004 Boston Red Sox in a one-game series here to see how that goes. Now, I did do that this afternoon and had a thrilling game. The Red Sox won it 2 to nothing this afternoon uh, with David Ortiz singling in Manny, o Manny Ramirez for the game-winning run. Uh, but the game of the, the play of the game came in the top of the ninth with two on and two out and Reggie Jackson at the plate a chance to put the Yankees ahead and he hit a line drive to left and a diving catch by Manny Ramirez would end the game and get the Red Sox the two to nothing win. So let's see what happens today. The attendance is twenty eight thousand eight hundred and thirty. It's partly cloudy, fifty six degrees, no wind as we start up this playoff game. I have the computer handling everything right now, so I am just going to call the action, if you will. And hopefully this will work out and we'll have some fun. All right, so you can see the starting lineups here. Uh, in left field, it is Manny Ramirez. In center, it is Johnny Damon. And it's Trot Nixon in right field. Uh, at third base, it's you, Kevin, Kevin Euclid. Orlando Cabrera will be the shortstop. Bellhorn will be over at second base. And then it's David Ortiz, the first baseman, Big Poppy, behind the plate. Tech, Veritech. And on the mound, it's Kurt Schilling. For the Yankees, leading things off will be Willie Randolph. Followed by Mickey Rivers, Greg Nettles, Reggie Jackson will hit in the fourth spot. The catcher, Thurman Munson, then Chris Chambliss. And then, yes, Bucky Dent, the shortstop. Bucky Dent is playing in this game. And then it's the left fielder, Thomason, and then the uh, designated hitter will be Johnson. Now, you can tell that the faces are not the best here. Actually, this afternoon, Kurt Schilling had the Lemmy... Uh, mutton chops going on this afternoon, so they're just kind of computer-generated faces. I think there's a way to get actual faces. I haven't figured that out yet, but anyway. All right, let's have some fun tonight from Fenway Park. It's a one-game series. It's the 78 Yankees and the 2004 Red Sox here in Out of the Park Baseball 19. Again, computer is managing both teams. I am just going to hit the buttons and watch things happen. Okay, so... I think I might give myself a little bit of sound here because there is an ambiance. I just don't want it bleeding through on the microphone. If it gets too bad, just let me know. But here we go. So, it is Schilling getting ready to deliver to Willie Randolph. Now, what I've also done, too, I set this up for a one-pitch at-bat instead of pitch-by-pitch. Pitch. It makes the game go a lot faster. So, each batter will get one pitch, but it will simulate an entire at bat. So the pitches will get actual pitch counts. They'll have um, you know strikes and balls and a whole bit. You just won't see them. You'll just see the result of the at bat. So here we go. Willie Randolph leading things off for the Yankees in the top of the first. Schilling. He gets set on a cold night here for 56 degrees. Not too bad. Now he's going to drive this one to left field base hit. So the Leadoff man is on for the Yankees with a single to left. A shop line drive corralled by Ramirez, and he throws it back in. So it's going to be Mickey Rivers now up with one on and nobody out here. Top of the first. Schilling delivers Rivers down to third base. It's going to be a little nubber. Throw to first is not in time. So the Yankees. Got two on. Oh, actually, no, it was it was in time. It didn't give me the out. I didn't see the out. So they did just barely get him. Euclid throwing out Rivers at first. So a little sacrifice moves Randolph over to center. So Randolph is on second base with one away now, and it's Greg Nettles. He's going to hit this one also. Base hit. That should score Rivers. And the Yanks go up one to nothing here in the top of the first as Schilling is getting hit around right now. 
So up one to nothing on the man on first, one away. It is Reggie Jackson. Jackson steps in. He's got a power ranking of 75 right now, and Schilling not having a good night. Delivers. And strike three called. So Jackson goes down looking on the play. And that will bring up the next batter. Thurman Munson, the catcher. With two gone and a man on first. Schilling kicks and sends one in. Strike three. Oh, that was a bad pitch to swing on. And the Yanks go down, but they do pick up a run on the Nettle single. They go to the bottom of the first. Red Sox coming to bat, trailing one to nothing. So let's take a look at the Yankees defense here. We have uh, Gary Thomas, and he's the only guy I don't know. Everybody else I do know. And again, I was 10 or 11 years old when this game was played back in 78, if it's the 78 Yankees, but he's, he's the one guy I don't remember. Uh, center field, Mickey Rivers, I do remember him. Obviously, Reggie Jackson on right field. Third base, Greg Nettles. Bucky Dent is the shortstop. Willie Randolph there at second base. Chris Chambliss at first. Thurman Munson, of course, the catcher. And then it's Ron Guidry on the mound facing Johnny Damon here. Red Sox coming to bat in the bottom of the first. Down by a run. Guidry delivers. Damon, strike three, kind of a half swing. And Damon's going to take the walk of shame back to the bench. One away for Orlando Cabrera. Cabrera's going to dub this one down the right foul line. Picked up by Chandler. He handles it himself. And it's an out number two. Manny Ramirez now. He's got the mutton chops down here. He's come to bat with two out and nobody on. Gidry now. Inside, and Manny's going to walk. Now, this afternoon I played this game. Manny was intentionally put on base with two outs. There was a wild pitch, and then Big Poppy singled to drive him in for the game winner. And let's see what happens now. So two out now, Big Poppy up, Manny Ramirez on first base. Pitch coming in, Pappy drives this one to the second baseman, scooped up and fires for the out. Randolph going 4-3 to three on that one. So the Sox go down, and we go to the second inning now. one nothing. the 78 Yankees over the 2004 Boston Red Sox. Chris Chambliss coming to the plate. Schilling was hit around pretty bad in that first inning, just to let up one run, though. Let's see if he's settled down at all. He's already thrown 20 pitches. And struck him out. Schilling picking up the K in the walk of shame. But Chamble is back to the bench. That's his third strikeout of the game for Schilling. And now it's Bucky Dent coming to the plate. Dent, Dent fans as well. So two up, two down by way of the strikeout here. And is two away here in the top of the second. Gary Thomason, left fielder, coming up now with two down. He's going to smack this one into center field. Damon coming on, and Damon will make the catch. Doesn't have a very strong arm, but he's got some strong legs out there. And the Yanks get on in order. We go to the bottom of the second. It is 1 0 Yankees. Veritek coming up to the plate now. Gidry's got one base on balls and one strikeout here as he faces the number five hitter. Gidry kicks and fires and strike three. Veritek goes down swinging and is one away. Bellhorn coming to the plate. He had a big home run in the 2004 series in Yankee Stadium from what I remember. Bellhorn, strike three. No, ball four. Oh, boy, I tell you, Gidry is not happy with that. He thought he had the strikeout, and instead Bellhorn goes to first. So the Sox got a man on with one out here in the bottom of the second. Kevin Euclid coming up to the plate. Gidry fires. You hit this one. This is high to left field, but it's going to stay in the park. Thomason's going to grab that one and fire it back in. And Bellhorn goes back to first base. And now it is two away. That was a 3 2 count on that fly ball. Now Trot Nixon coming up with two out. Man on first. Gidry fires. And straight three called. Oh boy, he froze him. And Nixon goes down on strike. So no runs again for the Sox. We're going to go to the third inning. Still 1-0. The Yanks. 
Cliff Johnson comes up to bat now. He is the DH for the 78 Yankees. Schilling's got four strikeouts so far, but he gave up a run in that first inning. And strike three. Make that another strikeout as he went with a fastball. And down goes the Yankees' DH. Now it's the top of the order. It is Willie Randolph coming up. Schilling deals. Randolph with a hit. Gets by Cabrera at shortstop. Thought he was going to get it, but it goes into center field, and it's a hit and a man on. So with one out and one on, Mickey Rivers comes to the plate. This one smacked into the gap. This is going to be extra bases. This might even score a run. Damon has it. Fires it in. Here comes the play at the plate. There'll be no play at the plate. The run scores. As Randolph comes in and the Yankees go up 2 to nothing on the double. So Schilling getting spanked here with some hits. So Rivers now on second base. Nettles comes up. Still only one out here. Nettles is one for one. He has that single back in the first inning that drove in the first Yankee run. And now a fly ball to center. Damon's going to be under this one, and he will get that one. No tag on the play. And it's going to be out number two. Hello to Ron at the Retro Sports Network saying, let's go Sox. Yeah, they, uh, they won this afternoon. Today they're not doing so well. Hopefully everything sounds good. I think I got all the kinks worked out. So Reggie Jackson coming to the plate. He will face Kurt Schilling. Jackson is 0 for 1. And with two out and Mickey Rivers on second base. Schilling delivers. Jackson tried to check his swing at strike three. And Jackson goes down for the second time. That will end the top of the third. So the Sox will come up in the bottom of the third. Trailing now 2 to nothing. It's a designated hitter, Gabe Kapler, up now facing Gidry, who's got three strikeouts in the game. And make that four strikeouts, a swing and a miss by the DH, and he will take the walk of shame back to the dugout and is one away in the third. Top of the order now for the Sox. It is Johnny Damon. I got to get these faces looking better. Holy cow, these faces, some of them aren't even close. But that's just how the game does it up. So we're just having some fun tonight. All righty. Johnny Damon up now with a one away. And the pitch. Damon with the ground ball. Up the middle. Base hit. Sox got a man on. That was a 2-1 pitch to Damon. And he lined it up the middle. So with Damon on with one away. It's Orlando Cabrera. He's 0 for 1 today. Johnny Damon did have a noodle arm run. Yes, he did. But he could run and he could hit. I just don't know if you want to put him in center field, though. So Cabrera now takes the pitch. He's going to ground ball to the right side. Scooped up and fires over to first base. He's safe. He beat it out. It's an infield hit. Damon goes to second. It was slow getting out of the glove. Look, okay, he tried a double clutch on the play. So now Sox got something going here in the bottom of the third. Two on, just one away, and Manny Ramirez coming to the plate. Manny, I believe he drew a walk in that game. And thanks, everybody, that's even watching on Facebook. Here. I'm just having some fun, guys, with this baseball game. I just got some new software that allows me to stream to Facebook and to YouTube. I'm up on both right now, and... Just having some fun with it. It's the 1978 Yankees taking on the 2004 Boston Red Sox. And right now, the Yankees lead this one 2 to nothing. But the Sox have Damon on second, Cabrera on first, and Manny Ramirez at the plate. Ron Guidry delivers. Ramirez with a blast to left field. This one is gone. It's a three-run dinger for Manny being Manny. And the Sox... Take the lead, 3-2 to two on the three-run blast. And then you can see them all running to the dugout together. Where's the bat boy? And so Guidry delivers to Manny Ramirez, who drives it in to the screen. I think it was the screen back then. I don't even know if they had the stands back then, if this is the 78 field. <clears throat> so it's 3-2 to two Red Sox. 
And now it's Big Poppy coming up. And his Big Poppy. He's not looking like Big Poppy, but that's okay. So Gidry now. Well, it's still one away here in the third. He looks in. Big Poppy. He's swinging a miss and a high fastball. And Poppy goes down swinging. So now it's two away in the third. Coming up now is Jason Veritek. Looking over here, Ron Gidry's already thrown 57 pitches in this one. So it's Gidry now with two down, facing Veritek. The pitch. Strike three, yeah. Strike three, and he goes down looking on that one. But the damage is done with a Manny Ramirez home run to left, and the 2004 Sox lead the 1978 Yankees 3-2 to two as we head to the fourth inning. Thurman Munson coming up. For the Yankees, Kurt Schilling still on the mound. He's got six strikeouts. Uh, zero base on balls right now. He's thrown 53 pitches in this one. Munson is 0 for 1 today. But this one is driven into center field. Base hit off the wall. He's looking to stretch this into two. The throw comes in. It won't be in time. So Thurman Munson off the warning track in deep center. Picks up a double. And the Yankees got the tying run in scoring position. Schilling now will face Chris Chambliss, the first baseman. He fires. Chambliss hit this one into center field. This could tie the game. But no, they're going to hold Munson, who's not a very fast runner. They're going to hold him at third base with nobody else. So the Yankees runners at the corners right now in the top of the fourth. <clears throat> and guess who? It's Bucky Dent. Yep, it is Bucky Dent coming to the plate. With nobody out. What could go wrong here? Schilling gets the sign from Veritek. It's a big at bat right now. He delivers. Nubs it down to first base. Poppy grabs it. Holds the runner at third base and goes to first and gets the the out at first base, so runners at second and third now, but the run did not come across. Big play by Ortiz at first base. Not known for his defensive play, but he made the play there. So now there's one away, and runners at second and third right now. And it's the eight hitter, Thomason, coming up. He's going to bat this one into left field, and that will tie the game and actually put the Yankees ahead. Going into second with the double, two runs coming in. And the Yankees go up 4-3 to three in this one. Oh, boy. This game is just going back and forth right now. So with one out and a man on second now, it's the nine hitter. It is Cliff Johnson. He's 0-for-1 today. He is the DH facing Schilling, who's got 57 pitches right now, and he's slowly moving into the yellow. He delivers... Knocked down the first base. Ortiz picks it up, runs the first base, and gets the second out. Runner moves to third. So now there's two away, and it's the top of the order. Willie Randolph. Thomason at third base. He is the insurance run right now. Schilling delivers. And this is going to be down to Ortiz. He's going to fire over to Schilling, covering. And that'll end the inning. But the Yankees get a couple on the double into the corner. And now they lead this one 4-3 to three as we head to the bottom of the fourth. And I'm going to have some coffee. So it's going to be the six-hitter, Mark Bellhorn, coming up now. The Sox trail 4-3 to three at the bottom of the fourth. Hope you're enjoying this little fun little replay here on... Out of the park, baseball 19 between the 1978 Yankees and the 2004 Boston Red Sox. One game, winner takes all. The pitch, the bellhorn checks his swing, and he did not go around. He will go to first base, and the Red Sox have the lead runner on. And now it's going to be Kevin Euclid with the tying run on first base. Gidry up to 70 pitches already. He fires. He hits this one to left field. This one's high, but it's going to hang up. Reggie Jackson will come in and make the catch for the first out. Actually, that's Thomas in the left field. Jackson's in right field. And that is an out. So now one away for Trot Nixon. Sox still have a man on first base representing the tying run. Nixon facing Guidry. 
Goodry delivers. Nixon hits this one. High fly ball into right field, and this will be Reggie Jackson coming in and making the play, as he normally does. So two gone now here in the bottom of the fourth, and it's the designated hitter in the ninth spot, Gabe Kapler. Goodry delivers. Kapler, line shot down the third. He's going to go to second with it. Nettles with a quick glove. Fired that over to second to get the lead runner, and that will end the fourth. No runs for the Sox in this one. We go to the fifth. 4-3, to three, the 78 Yankees, or the 4 Red Sox. Look at the second batter right now in the number two spot. Mickey Rivers coming up. That guy always bugged me. Oh, Mickey Rivers always bugged me. Schilling still on the mound. Schilling delivers. Rivers hits it down the first. Poppy with it over to Schilling. And they get him. Just barely. That was close. Big Poppy's been busy down there at first base. And now it's Greg Nettles who, driven, who drove in the first run of this game with one away. Nettles with a long fly ball to right field. That's got a chance. It is gone. Greg Nettles with a big game, singling in a run in the first and now going deep with a solo shot. And the Yankees go up now 5-3 to three on the Nettles home run. <clears throat> and now now Reggie Jackson comes up. So Schilling down by a couple of runs now here in the fifth inning. He's thrown 75 pitches. And Reggie Jackson coming to the plate. And he hit him. He's hit by the pitch. Jackson struck out twice tonight. Now he's hit by the pitch. And some frustration now maybe for the Red Sox. Thurman Munson coming up. He had a big hit his last time at bat. He's one for two in this one. Schilling gets the sign, delivers. Munson with another long drive. This time Damon looks to get under it, and he's not going to get there. It drops in front of him. Damon looked like he ran back to get it, maybe misjudged that ball. And that's going to be a double for Munson. So it's second and third for the Yankees with still just one away here in the fifth. Chris Chambliss coming up. He's batting in the sixth slot right now. All right, Ron, I'll catch you later. I don't know if you're going to be broadcasting tonight on the Retro Sports Network, but if you are, I'll catch you. If not, I'm sure we'll catch up this weekend, my friend. So Chris Chambliss up. With runners in scoring position. He's going to whack this one into left field. Manny Ramirez picks it up, and no tag. There has been no tag by the runners. They held him up. That was Reggie Jackson at third base. He's got a little bit of speed, not a lot. But they decided to hold him up, so Munson and Jackson remain in scoring position. But now there's two outs, and it's Bucky Dent coming to the plate. Schilling delivers to Dent. Dent's going to ground this ball. Cabrera picks it up, goes to first for the easy out, and they get out of the jam without any more damage being done. <clears throat> the Yankees still lead this one 5-3 to three as we head to the bottom of the fifth. Johnny Damon coming up to lead things off. Ron Guidry still on the mound. He's thrown 77 pitches tonight in the four innings he's pitched. The pitch to Damon. He's going to whack this one into center field. Mickey Rivers coming on. He dives and he makes the catch. Mickey Rivers on his horse diving to get the first out of the inning. Orlando Cabrera coming up. As the top of the Sox order bat here in the bottom of the fifth. They're down by a pair. Cabrera looks at the pitch. He's going to ground this one over to second base. Picked up by Willie Randolph. And he easily throws him out. And now there's two away. So the Sox going quietly here in the fifth inning. Manny Ramirez up. He's got all of the Red Sox runs with that three-run home run. And he's one for one in this one. Ramirez takes the pitch from Guidry. Ground ball. Up the middle base hit. Man, he's two for two in this one. As Bucky Dent could not get to that one. And so Big Poppy will come up to the plate with a man on. A chance to tie this one here in the bottom of the fifth. See if they can get the big bats going here for the Red Sox. Guidry on pitch number 87 now. 
Delivers the big Poppy. Poppy's inside. He's going to take that one for a ball four. So the big guns for the Red Sox are on first and second now, but there are two away here. And coming up is Veritek. Jason Veritek in this one is 0 for 2. Gidry on the mound now is up to 91 pitches. Tech slams this one to left field. It's going to drop in. It's going to get the runners. One run home and a double, and it's now 5 to 4. Ortiz goes to third. Manny Ramirez showing a little bit of speed around the bases as he was off on the crack of the bat with two out. And the Sox get one of the runs back. It's now 5 to 4 with men at second and third for Bellhorn. Bellhorn 0 for 0 today. I believe he uh, drew a walk earlier in this one. So big chance for Bellhorn with runners in scoring position. Ron Guidry, the, the pitcher, getting tired now. He's got 95 pitches thrown here through five innings. He delivers the Bellhorn. Bellhorn, strike three. He goes down, leaving the tying run 90 feet away. And we're going to go to the sixth. It's 5-4, to four, the 78 Yankees over the 0-4 Red Sox. Schilling still in the game. He's thrown 87 pitches at this point. And it's going to be the 8-hitter. Thomason coming to the plate. Schilling gets the sign. Delivers. Strike three. Fastball. Got him swinging. And that's another strikeout. That's seven for Schilling in this one. As he's got the bloody sock working tonight. Up next is Cliff Johnson, the DH, batting in the 9 spot. Schilling delivers, kick, strike three, call. So Schilling still throwing strong here in the six. Two strikeouts here in the inning, giving him eight on the day. And now it's Willie Randolph, top of the order, coming up for the Yankees with two down. Schilling to Randolph, he slaps us into right field. And making the catch out there is Nixon as he comes in and grabs that with the glove. So one, two, three inning for the Yankees here. We're gonna go to the bottom of the six. It's still five to four, New York. We got the seven, eight, and nine hitters coming up for the Sox. Kevin Euclid, third baseman. He is 0 for 2 today. And the pitch is gonna slap this one into left field, but it's gonna hang up there. And Thomas is gonna come in and make the catch on now and is one away. Now it's a right fielder, Trot Nixon. Gidry looks, fires, Nixon, strike three. Oh, he gave him a change up on that one. And it's two away now here in the sixth inning. So it's the nine hitter, Gabe Kapler coming up. The DH, bases are empty right now and there's two outs. Gidry. Kicks and fires. Slap down a dent. The shortstop fires over to first. And the Sox go down in order. One, two, three. We move to the seventh. Five to four. The Yankees. And we're back. It's Schilling still on the mound here. Facing the uh, second batter, Mickey Rivers. Rivers uh, one for two today with an RBI. And the pitch comes in. They drown ball the first. Ortiz picks it up and runs to the base himself. Uh, score that one. Three unassisted. And there's one away. Ortiz has had a busy day down there at first base. Now it's Greg Nettles. Greg Nettles coming up. He is one for two. He's got a home run in this one, a solo shot to right. And he also has another run driven in. Two RBIs on the day, one away. Nettles going to slap this one high in the air. Coming down to the second baseman. Bellhorn's going to grab that one. Routine fly ball. And there's two away. Hi, Dave Little coming in. Hopefully the stream's coming across good. Dave Little runs a uh, group on Facebook. You should check it out. It's a sports simulation group that I'm a part of, and a bunch of us here stream 
uh, baseball and football games and all kinds of other things. I think he does some basketball. But it's just uh, fun little strategy games. It's really a, a nice walk down memory lane with some of these games. So Reggie Jackson coming to the plate. He is 0 for 2 in this one. I think he's got a pair of strikeouts, actually. Schilling's had his number in this one. So with two away in the seventh, it's Jackson. Schilling delivers and strike three. That's three strikeouts in a row for Reggie Jackson. I think he had a candy bar back in the day, if I don't remember. It was, it, I think it was shaped like a hockey puck, and it was really good from what I remember. So the Yankees got a new pitcher coming in now. It's Ken Clay will come in in the bottom of the seventh to relieve Guidry. <clears throat> so Ken Clay coming in. See if he can shut the door here in the last couple of innings on this round the Red Sox. So Johnny Damon, the lead hitter coming up here. One, two, and three for the Sox. Clay now delivers to Damon. Damon ground ball to second. Scooped up. Maya Randolph, and he flubs it, but he still got it over in time. And they get the out on Damon. One away. Now it's Cabrera coming to the plate. Cabrera, Cabrera rather, is one for three on the day. Clay delivers. Cabrera hits this one high to right field, but it looks like it might hang up there, heading down by the pole, and Jackson's going to get over there and haul it in in deep right field for a long out number two. Now Manny Ramirez comes up to the plate. Manny is two for two in this one with a home run. He's responsible for three of the Red Sox runs on a three-run blast. Clay to Ramirez. Manny slaps this one up to right center field. It's gone! Manny Ramirez, his second home run of the game, ties this one at 5-5 five to five in the seventh. Manny being Manny, his second Big bomb of the day. This one, the right field. 391 feet. And this game is tied now at 5-5. Five to five. So they brought in the relief pitcher. That didn't work out. So now they're going to bring in a second one. This is Paul Lindblad who's going to come in now. And he's got to face David Ortiz with two away. So Manny with two outs tying this game for the Red Sox. So now it's Lindblad against Ortiz. Ortiz 0 for 2 today. He delivers. Ortiz down the left field line. It's going to drop. He's going to get one. He's going to try for two. Does Big Poppy get the legs? And he is in there with a double. So the meat of the lineup is doing some damage here against the Yankees relief relievers. So in a 5-5 five to five game, Big Poppy doubles. He's on second, and it's up to Veritek. Veritek is one for three in this game. He does have an RBI. Now in the pitch now is Dick Tidro. I didn't I don't recognize some of these guys here. They had Sparky Lyle come in earlier today when I did a game. Sparky Lyle I knew. But I'm not sure of this this Tidro guy. But he's in the pitch right now. He's a right handed pitcher. He's gonna face left handed batter Jason Veritek. <coughs> Excuse me. And here we go. With Ortiz on second. And the pitch. In the left field, if that drops, it could get the run home. It does drop. Ortiz coming around third. He's going to score easily. It's a double. And the Sox go up 6-5 to five on another RBI by Veritek. That one dropped into the corner. Thomason could not get there. Big Poppy with two outs was on his horse. And he's going to score. And the Sox lead this one now 6-5 to five in the second. So the Yankee relief is coming in for Ron Guidry. Have not got the job done at all. And the time at Fenway Park is 11, 11 p.m. on this night. So now it's Bellhorn coming up and is still a man in scoring position with two outs here in the bottom of the seventh. Tidros delivers to Bellhorn. Bellhorn slaps to the right side, but Willie Randolph comes over, grabs that, over to Chambliss. And that'll retire the side, but the damage is done. Manny Ramirez home run and a double to left field. And the Sox take the lead 6-5 to five as we go to the eighth inning. <clears throat> so now we got Mike Timlin coming in to pitch for the Red Sox as he relieves Kurt Schilling. And let's see if Timlin can get some things done here in the eighth. He's got a one-run lead. 
It's the five batter Thurman Munson who had a hit earlier in this game. Munson's actually two for three in this game. Timlin now sets and delivers to Munson. And that's going to be ball four outside. Try to get a little fancy on that 3 2 pitch. And Munson will take first base, so the Yankees have the tying run on here in the eighth inning with nobody out. It's Chris Chambliss now. Chambliss slaps this one into left field, base hit. So the first two batters are on for the Yankees, and they got something brewing here in the eighth. <coughs> So Timlin comes in and surrenders a walk and a hit. And with nobody out, it's Lou Pinella coming in. He's a pinch hitter right now. Here comes Lou Pinella. Pitch to Pinella. This one's going to be hit in the center right at Johnny Damon, though. He's going to come in and make the catch, and the run has got a hold. So the Red Sox got a big out right there. It's one away. Timlin still on the mound right now. One away. It's the left field of Thomason coming up. Sox looking for a double play to get out of the inning. Timlin kicks and fires. Ball four and they're loaded. Oh boy, if this ain't Red Sox baseball, I don't know what is. So Timlin <clears throat> walks the bases loaded here. And now it is going to be Cliff Johnson... The DH. Bases are jammed. One away. Sox up by a run here in the top of the eighth. Coming in the pitch now is Keith Folk. So Folk will come in to replace Timlin to see if he can get this job done and get out of the jam. Bases are loaded. No way to put anybody. He's facing Johnson. Folk gets the sign. Delivers. Strike three, Strike three called. He sent down Johnson with a nice pitch. He fooled him, actually. And now, with the bases loaded, there are two away. So the infield can back up a little bit and play for the single out. It's Willie Randolph, top of the order. He is two for four today, though, batting very well. So it's the leadoff hitter against Kevin Falk with two out now. And the bases loaded. Falk fires. Strike three! He struck him out! And they get out of the inning. So the bases are left loaded for the Yankees. And the Sox still lead this one 6-5. to five. So it's the bottom of the eighth now. It is Tidrow still on the mound for the Yankees. He's only thrown five pitches in this one in relief. And it's Kevin Euclid coming to the plate now. He's 0-3 for 3 in this one. <clears throat> Tidrow. To Uke. And hit him. Oh, he hit him. And that's typical Yankees right there. Typical Yankees right there, folks. And so now it's Trot Nixon at the plate with a man on first. That's the insurance run. Tidrow still on the mound. Brian Doyle has moved to shortstop and replaces a Bucky Dent. So we don't have to worry about the Bucky Dent factor in this one. So Tidrow facing Nixon. Nobody out and one on here in the eighth. And strike three. Oh, that pitch looked outside. And he got Nixon going down on strikes. So now there's one away, and it's the DH Gabe Kapler now coming up to bat. Tidrow deals. Kapler slaps us into right field. That's going to drop. That's going to go into the corner. That should be a double. They're going to hold the runner at third, so the Sox will have second and third. With one away here in the eighth on the double by Kapler. And the top of the order coming up. <clears throat> so it's Johnny Damon. He's one for four today. Looking to give the Red Sox some insurance here in the eighth. Tidra will stay on the mound. The right-handed pitcher will face the left-handed batter Damon. They got the shift on as you can see. They got the shortstop Doyle now. Over here with a shift on Damon, leaving a big gap over here on the left side. Just Greg Nettles all by himself between second and third. Tidrow to Damon. And they're going to intentionally walk him and put him on. So we got the bases loaded now. <clears throat> with one away, and it's Orlando Cabrera. He's got a hit in this one. 
So the infield back to regular depth, trying to get the double play going here. And Cabrera comes up with the bases loaded here in the bottom of the eighth. Tidro fires. This is going to be slapped high in the air and deep. This should get a run home. Mickey Rivers going back, makes a catch at the warning track, and the two lead runners will tag, and Euclid will score. Kapler over to third, and that's a nice big insurance run for the Red Sox. And it's now 7-5. to five. So big sacrifice fly deep in the center field. Mickey Rivers got a good arm, but not that good. He's not going to throw anybody out from the warning track. So Cabrera getting the job done. So now it's Manny Ramirez. He is 3-for-3, three three, two home runs in this game. And see if he can uh, do some more damage here against the 78 Yankees. Chidro on the mound still. Manny Ramirez is 3-for-3. Three three. Runners at the corners with two outs to Ramirez. Manny slaps this one high and deep to left field. Going back is Thomason, and he's going to make the catch. Off right at the wall. Holy cow. Manny nearly did it again. That would have put the game out of reach. But Thomason back right at the scoreboard. Makes the catch, and that retires the side. Sox get a run. They lead this one 7-5 to five now as we go to the top of the ninth. And uh, thanks for everybody that's joining me on YouTube and Facebook. Just having a little bit of fun on this Friday night as we replay some old baseball games. Actually, I'm trying out this new software I got to see if it works. And I guess so far it might be working. So I uh, had everybody watching Jay and Steve in the chat and Sharon and Jay and Barbara and uh, JR. JR, I think, is over in England somewhere. So it's probably middle of the night now. I heard he's on a bender over there. Good for him. But uh, anybody that's like tuning in, uh, thanks for watching. Just having some fun with some baseball tonight. And so we are in the top of the ninth, and it's going to be Keith Falk again. He's uh, got nine pitches in this one as they try to close it out. But they got to face Rivers, Nettles, and Reggie Jackson to get it done. So the Sox up 7-5 to five here in the top of the ninth, trying to close this one out. Falk and Mickey Rivers. Rivers slapped this one in the center. Damon rushing over. Damon underneath it, and Damon will grab it for the first out. That one looked like it started to carry a little bit, and then it backed down. I get people even in Maine watching this game. That's how far the internet goes nowadays. Greg Nettles comes up against Folk. Yankees down by a pair. Nettles had a good game, but he strikes out on this one on a slider. Oh, boy. Nettles had a single and a home run on this one, but can't come through here in the ninth, and now there's two down. Falk trying to close this one out, but he's got to get by Reggie Jackson. So Reggie Jackson trying to extend the game here for the Yanks in the top of the ninth. Falk gets a signal from Veritek. Fires in on Jackson. Jackson, little number back to the mound, picked up and fired over to first, and that's going to do it. The Sox pull this one out 7-5. to five. So the final score again here from Fenway. And it's 11.59 up here in the corner. As you can see, just before midnight, it's the 2004 Red Sox defeating the 1978 Yankees 7-5 in a thriller. And, uh, yeah, thanks everybody that tuned in. Just having some fun with this one tonight, checking it out. So if you left a comment, thank you so much. If you tuned in, thank you so much. Just having some fun with this. And uh, hopefully it brought back from some memories for you. So uh, Ron, thanks for tuning in. Dave Little, thanks for tuning in. And um, that'll do it here from Fenway Park. Again, the final score is the 2004 Red Sox 7, the 1978 Yankees 5. I'm Dave. Thanks, everybody, for watching.